Martin de Puy. Sup YouTube Official Gaming Network and welcome to uh, my Java indie game uh, devlog slash showcase thing. Now, if you don't know what a uh, devlog is, uh, well, at least a game devlog, it's pretty much it is a uh, whenever I have a uh, new content in a game that I'm working on to show you guys, I pretty much uh, record myself showing you guys uh, the new content and uh, uh, the point of it is that you'll get to see the game progress as it goes along. So yeah, as uh, if you don't know what this game is, it's uh, my game and uh, the devlogs uh, will be about this game that I'm working on. Yeah, anyway, I have uh, started this about a week and a half ago and uh, I'm gonna show you the progress I've made in that week and a half. Now, if you're still not quite uh, understanding what ex exactly a Java game devlog is, uh, then there's an annotation on your screen right now and the, the video that's showing is by someone called Thin Matrix. He makes uh, devlogs of his own uh, Java indie 3D RPG game that he's uh, working on. And it's a great example of what a devlog actually is. Uh, you should go check it out by clicking on the annotation on your screen right now or following the link in the description below. So yeah, I actually uh, have been uh, wanting to do this for a while now. So yeah, uh, I'll release a new episode of this series uh, whenever there's a good amount of uh, new content to show you guys and of course I'll still be doing the tutorials I haven't uh, given the tutorials of this uh, they'll still be coming out uh, once a week for each series like they are right now so yeah anyway I'm just gonna show you the content for my game uh, first of all I'm gonna explain to you guys the plot of my game and like all like what my game will be about so what it pretty much is is that uh, there'll be an open world in the game or like a world in which the game's based in like not just a small world like a big world and the people in the world uh, aren't aware that they're actually in a computer simulation like the whole world they live in is a pretty much a computer game or simulation so yeah they're unaware of that but the thing is in let's say real life a virus actually uh, gets into the computer in which uh, the game is a uh, being like a uh, run on and it pretty much attacks the game file so the world is uh, slowly, slowly getting corrupted and uh, you have to stop it. I'm not sure like how you're gonna stop it yet. But I plan for it to be like, uh, have uh, epic boss battles and lots of cool enemies and uh, weapons and power-ups, things like that. Uh, as the virus uh, slowly like eats up the game, uh, there'll be parts of the world that are corrupted. And uh, the further, and the closer you are to the uh, parts of the world that are corrupted, like uh, the more glitchier the game gets, so like your player will glitch out, like uh, the things in the background will glitch out, etc. So yeah, I reckon it's uh, pretty cool. And uh, now I'm just going to show you guys the features I've uh, done in the past one and a half weeks of me developing this game. So if you're wondering what these uh, grey dots are, uh, they're pretty much uh, arrows. By the way, I haven't added any actual graphics yet. Uh, I'm just gonna color code everything until I actually get around to making graphics. But uh, the thing is, I do plan on selling the game because uh, I imagine it's a pretty, a pretty big game. So now I'm gonna get to the features. There's the three blocks in the game so far. There's the orange things are uh, signs. Uh, these are dark green things are uh, hedges like you can collide with. Them. Uh, there's an enemy which you can see here and uh, you know the little pink bar above him is uh, his health bar so I'm gonna show you later on in this video that you can actually shoot him and stuff like that and kill him and uh, there's also arrows so first I'm gonna show you firing arrows so to fire an arrow uh, what you would do is that you would hold down your mouse for a certain amount of uh, time then let go and it'll fire the arrow in the direction in which your mouse is on the screen at. and the longer you hold down your mouse until you fire the arrow, the uh, the further and faster the arrow will go. So if I hold down my mouse for uh, a little bit, as you can see, uh, I fire the arrow, but it doesn't go very fast, and it eventually slows down and uh, comes to a stop. 
and if I if I hold down for like if I just click and don't hold it down at all an arrow will just uh, pop up where I am which uh, I'm gonna fix so you actually have to hold down the mouse to actually fire an arrow instead of just click and like uh, spam arrows everywhere so yeah and by the way uh, there's a limit for what speed and uh, power the arrow has when you fire it so you can't like hold down the mouse for a hundred seconds and uh, you know the arrow will go flying a million miles into the distance there is a limit to uh, what speed and power the arrows have so as you can see the ones I fired really far uh, eventually do stop so yeah anyway uh, you can fire the arrows at uh, hedges and as you can see uh, they collide with the hedges uh, very smoothly see how I'll fire it at any hedge and as you can see, it collides with it very well. So yeah, anyway, now I'm going to show you these orange things, which are signs. So uh, I don't have any collision detection with the signs. Well, I do, but you can't, like, you can walk over them and stuff like that. And uh, if you go on top of one and press E, then as you can see, a little text bubble comes up uh, with the message. As you can see, the text on me scrolls nicely. If you didn't realize, the text actually did scroll on the text bubble. And uh, if you press it, then you can see the text uh, scrolls nicely on the text bubble. By the way, uh, you just press E to get back out of the text bubble. And you can't move uh, while you're in the text bubble as well. Uh, you can actually fire projectiles, but they don't have any like power or speed. Yeah, I'm going to make it so you can't actually fire anything in the game pretty much pauses when you're reading a sign. So yeah, uh, one more thing to show. As uh, you can see, there's an enemy here. It's a little health bar. And uh, I'm actually gonna turn its movement on right now. I'll, uh, I'll be just a second. So as you can see, I turned on the enemy's movement and he uh, just uh, moves in a certain direction until uh, he randomly starts to uh, change direction. He would either go uh, up, right, left or down, uh, no diagonal. It's pretty easy to implement uh, diagonal movement. I really shouldn't have done that. But yeah, even if he uh, walks out the level, we can still follow him with his uh, health bar and everything, and we can actually shoot him. So uh, let me just go and shoot our enemy. And what would happen is that a little number would come out above the enemy showing how much uh, damage we have done. All right, so I'll try to hit him. I don't think uh, you actually saw that. Let me try again. So yeah, there you go. As you can see, uh, a blue little 10 came out. And uh, if you didn't realize, the first time I shot the enemy, he actually lost health in his health bar. Like uh, the pink little sort of rectangle uh, started to lose its width and become skinnier. The amount of damage I've done to the enemy is uh, the bigger in size are uh, the number showing how much damage I've done to the enemy will be. So if you see, yeah, if I do a little bit of damage to the enemy, as you can see, uh, a little three came floating up, but if I do a lot of damage, as you can see, a big 11 came up and uh, it was a lot bigger than the three. So yeah, I'll do a medium amount of damage. Oh, as you can see, there was an even smaller two. And uh, there's the number six. Yeah, and it changes in size depending on how big of a number it is so yeah anyway that's all i have to show you so i'm gonna wrap up this devlog here if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like a comment and subscribe if someone you know is interested in uh learning how to program a game in java or like likes uh watching game devlogs uh please let them know about this channel and uh by the way uh, i'll upload a new video whenever there's a, a good amount of new content to show you guys so uh i actually have no schedule for this series this is just a upload whenever sort of thing so yeah of course if you have a twitter account please feel free to follow me on twitter so see you guys soon bye